Yesterday I removed the VRO system, but I'm going to show you what I did. <clears throat> it's a 1996 Johnson uh, Ocean Runner, 150, 150 horsepower. All right. So what I've done is, here's the, the VRO pump, fuel pump, and oil pump system right here. This is the oil line coming out of it. it comes in from your uh, tank inside the boat in here, runs up here into the pump. All right, so what I did is I just cut it in half right here, cut the line, and capped it off with some bolts. So, no, get no leakage there. All right, there's a line that comes in off of your uh, oil tank that comes into the motor, you know, comes in this, this tube here, or whatever kind of system you have coming in here. And it's got a brown and a tan. See the brown and tan wire, and it comes up, and it hooks into, Here it was, the plug, I've disconnected them and I've capped them off. So there's a brown, you can see the brown and tan, I think. So I just capped them off and hit them down there. All right, also you've got one coming out of the bottom of this uh, kind of circuit card here. It's covered over with some kind of gooey silicone or something. It's got about four different wires on it. Looks like there's a brown, a black maybe a purple and something else kind of looks like another violet I don't really know but um, they're all discolored my motor's so old but it's got like four different wires coming into it comes right off of that circuit card system there I disconnected that as well and aside from that I went inside I cut my oil line up in here here's my oil tank if you can see it I uh, just went back a little bit, cut my oil line, capped it off, and it's just sitting. It's just sitting in here for now. Um, maybe uh, when I get around to it, if I ever feel like it, I'll take that whole oil tank out. But it was a pain in the butt to get it. I think I zip tied on the inside of this tube, so I wasn't able to pull my line through. So I just kind of gave up. But I'm gonna go ahead and start her. This is uh, with a 50 to one mixture, maybe actually a little more than that in the fuel system she still smokes a little bit but that's because i got too much oil in it right now but it's been running i had it on idle earlier for about 10 15 minutes so far so good i'd rather see it smoking too much than not at all at least it lets me know there's some oil in there so it's fairly simple to do and it gives me peace of mind when i'm on the water now i know at least i if it blows up, it's my fault. And if it does blow up, maybe because something I did in this video, I'm not too proud to get back on here and let you know that I messed something up. But so far, so good. So this is how to remove your VRO system, but keep using it as a fuel pump. <laughs>